Hello and welcome back to another episode. Now this morning I want to share with you why it is I very much enjoy playing Red Steel 2. I actually only picked this game up um, a couple of days ago in fact for a pound at my local cash converters but I'm already loving it and I'm, I'm, I'm certainly liking it more than its predecessor. Uh, I think the, the first reason why I like this game quite a lot is because it has an art style. Um, the previous Red Steel game was sort of set in a sort of real world, or it was trying to be sort of quasi-photorealistic, and that just doesn't work uh, on the Wii. The Wii really, graphically, is at its strongest when designers pick an art style and run with it. And in this case, they've gone with this sort of, I don't know, uh, hyper-real Japanese cowboy kind of world and it's brilliant. The second reason why I'm liking this game is because the uh, combat is a really great combination of sword and gun. Now the first Red Steel sort of promised that. The problem is though you could only really use your, uh, your sword at certain key moments. So if effectively uh, it was you know sort of you know honor duels and this kind of thing with certain individuals and uh, that's just less dynamic. This game has you waggling your Wiimote uh, anytime you want to use your sword and uh, there we go <laughs> and, uh, and shooting with the B button anytime you want so effectively you are uh, you're able to choose how you employ your weapons which is something which again I, I sort of thought could have been really good in Red Steel um, Red Steel 2 clearly isn't isn't connected to the first game in terms of its storyline, and uh, <laughs> and that's probably a good thing. But the funny thing is, is this this game so far doesn't seem to have a. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what's going on in terms of the narrative. All I know is that my character, a sort of gunslinger, has returned oh, a lot. to a where town where he was once resident. Oh my god! I never thought we'd see you again. Not after what the clan did. It's strange. Wait, where's the katana? So this sort of su South American, so like Southern American, oh. Western, oh. Japanese oh. combination. It's very interesting. Then we take it back. Let's get started. The uh, in terms of uh, uh, objectives and missions and this kind of thing, it all feels a bit uh, grunge housey, which is quite cool. Uh, it's like grind housey rather. Um, and again, it's all part of that decision to go with an art style as opposed to trying to be sort of photorealistic. My only complaint so far in terms of the art style is the way that the um, the doors where they're trying to hide loading times can be a little bit, uh, well, <sighs> obvious. You know, they can sort of take their time to open a door and it's... Uh, I don't know, it's just, it's just this little bit sort of clumsy here and there. And it feels a little bit like I'm playing the original Resident Evil and not in a, not in a good way. Um, this particular game relies on the Wii Motion Plus. So it is ostensibly a one-to-one -one, um, swinging uh, experience. At times, though, it does get itself muddled. So it'll think that I'm on the left when I'm on the right and so on and so forth. So it's not perfect, but it is good fun. Go on, there we go. So you have to swing three times just to get it right. Um, ah! So overall, so far, <laughs> swing right wide. I'm swinging wide. There we go. See, it's a bit of a. Oh. There we go. And come on. Okay, it's not a perfect in terms of its sword play, but it is great fun in actual combat, which is good. Now let's see if I can get okay, and there we go. Not too bad. Where am I going? Hmm. Yeah, the other thing as well is that it's not always obvious what your next thing to do is, what your next objective is. Uh, in this instance, I don't know. I meant to talk to him. Nope, okay, can I go back through here? Yes, there we go. Um, 
yeah, so the gameplay is fun. Uh, the, uh, the yeah, they try their best to make the, the motion plus uh, accurate. And when it comes to choosing your missions, this is how you do it. You basically go to a notice board. There we go. So basically, you go to a board, you pick up a, a mission, and uh, it's basically very much like a bounty hunter. So uh, where, where where the first Red Steel game very much relied on its narrative and you you buying into the relationship with your with your girlfriend, as it were, uh, this game seems to be much more episodic. You know, um, much more based on choosing your your jobs, as it were. You know, which is you know in keeping with the theme. Now you can block as well swords with uh, by holding A and uh, holding your sword at the right angle, which is quite quite satisfying actually. Oh, come on, and the music is pretty cool as you can hear. And again, in keeping with this sort of steampunky uh, Japanese Western theme. There we go. Now I have absolutely no clue where the story is is going. I have no, no idea where it's going to end up taking me, but I'm hoping it's going to be some sort of good old-fashioned Western revenge. Frankly, uh, in Japanese cinema, there's a good tradition of revenge films as well, isn't there? Oh, what we're going to see. Damn it, bulletproof. Can I get through there? Come on. There we go. So actually, as you can see, in combat, the controls work quite well. It's just when you're doing the training and it's saying, no, this particular move, please. But, um, but for the most part, it's doing what, exactly what I want it to do when I want to do it. And, uh, and again, that was something which sometimes, ah, was lacking in the original Red Steel, um, and uh, and I don't know, and sort of led to people thinking that the Wii couldn't be a decent shooter uh, of shooter platform. In this instance, I think yeah, they've done quite well. Tilt, move the handle to the correct position. Oh, it's one of those. Okay. Oh, this is working quite well. Switch activated, okay. 5000 dollars Oh, we're in trouble. That makes a change. And this guy's got armor. So you can uh, jump around your, uh, strafe around your your target as well, which is quite useful. There we go. Now this is what I mean by the loading doors. They, it's not a very, not a very elegantly hidden loading time. This is it. <laughs> but I can forgive it. It is only the Wii after all. Okay. This one gonna. Yep. Also taking its time to load. But for a pound, this game is very good. It is a slightly strange. I mean, it's a it's a, a compelling combination, but it's slightly strange. With this art style and this particular lady hearing that very southern droll, you know, this is my home. So it feels a little bit that the, maybe they're hamming up, possibly the uh, the accent. Lupus. What name is that? That'll shut him up. That's me, their leader. Tell us about his charming and dysentery. We have to stop 
Okay, so another mission. Destroy jackal trucks. No, we just heard that. Okay. Okay. Off we go. Again, you know, the loading. Seamless. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, I have seen even the Wii can handle loading a little bit more elegantly than that. So, that's a bit disappointing. But, it's not exactly a deal breaker, as it were. Okay. Gotta break their armor first. There we go. And snap. Yeah. So hopefully this has given you a good impression of oh of how much fun the combat is and can be. Um, and the very fact that it does bring a smile to the face means that uh, that they achieve their goal, you know? And especially, as I say, having the ability to choose how you use your, your gun and sword, it's, it means everything. <sighs> I meant to blow, blow up these trucks. Okay. There we go. Two of seven. Where next? Through here. Through another carefully disguised loading screen. <laughs> That's right, I've got to stop bitching about that. Oh, cool. Oh, so I can get my, myself a sheriff star. So yeah, so this whole six shooter thing is very welcome in this uh, in this this particular game. This oh, iteration of Red Steel. And as I say, I do like the art style. It's kind of reminiscent of uh, Oh, vaguely, you say, sort of, I guess, anime uh, to a certain extent. Certainly games like uh, Borderlands, maybe uh, a hint of uh, rage here and there. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Yes. Okay. Now there is a strange sense that all the different sections you know, between these loading doors aren't entirely connected. Ah, uh, oh yes, beautiful. Um, so it, it's not it's not an entirely entirely seamless world, if you see what I mean. Uh, I do feel as though I'm going from sort of small sandbox to small sandbox, but that's okay. Again, in a game like this, it's about the experience. Mm-hmm. And and as an experience, this game is good. Okay. Oh so look at that, you see? I've got this long flowing coat. See if we can get a Finally, the last Kusagari. Can I dodge it? Oh. Doesn't look as though I did dodge it. Oh no, yeah, I dodged it. <laughs> oh. Uh, why are you question marking me? Oh! This is an interesting experience. Uh, maybe. Oh, duck, yep, yeah. okay. Oh, punch him, yes. Punch! That's it. That's quite satisfying, actually. Oh, oh. That's a bit Indiana Jones, this. 
Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Break all your bones twice. Okay, four. Five trucks destroyed. There we go, six. Whoa. Now, yeah, to be fair, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie, to be fair, at times it does feel a little bit difficult to uh, to get the camera and the uh, the stabbing and the sliding and the shooting and the you know all working at the same time. It can get a little bit frantic. Um where's he gone? Can I climb up? No, I can't, okay. Come on! Ah. Oh! Seven trucks destroyed. Is that all dead? Whew. Truck stop. Mission complete. <laughs> it's good. This game is good. It's worth it's definitely. Uh, it's definitely as good as I hoped it would be. Um, so I'm, I'm, I really am actually loving the experience. Yeah, despite its limitations, this this is this is a fun experience. There we go. Okay. Let's see if I can just come on. That's it. And Can I shoot there? Ah! Yes! Now 8 of 18? What? I hit him, I definitely hit him on his arm there, not his armour. Or maybe that's it, maybe he's like, it's, you know, my arm is armour. Armour. I don't know. Come on, come on. Let him. Okay. So have I defended the sheriff stop? He's got a load. And there we go. Look at this guy. And there we go. Okay. Oh, twin barrel. I think so. Ah, oh. what well, can I not afford it yet? I only need eighty thousand. Oh. That's a shame. Teasing me. Teasing me. Well, let's leave it there for now, shall we? Um, this is a very good. Uh, Wii first person shooter. People often, you know, they try and say that the Wii is just a gimmick console, that it's a kiddies console, that there's nothing, as it were, hardcore to, to the console. And uh, to a certain extent that's true, you know, Nintendo have very carefully shaped the library of that, of that console, uh, except of course when they were put a whole load of shovelware on there. Um, 
And red steel is not is not everyone's cup of tea. It's not everyone's uh, ideal FPS experience, but it is a very interesting experience. And the improvements that they've made over the first red steel, the artistic direction that they've taken, uh, the concept sort of Japanese Western sci-fi Mad Max kind of you know experience is one which I I appreciate. It's like it's like it's like they just thought you know we're never going to get photorealistic. Let's let's pick a style and let's run with it. And they really have. I, I very much appreciate that. Anyway, guys, hopefully you can see why uh, why I'm liking this game. I very much am. I, I'm, I'm really loving actually the the combination of things in this game. Um, and if you haven't given it a go, why not? Like I say, a pound. I picked this up for a pound a couple of days ago. So uh, try it out. I heartily recommend it. As ever, until next time, whatever you get up to, do take care. Bye bye.